everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Today we are going to be using these three fabulous colors, Watermelon Wonder, Peekaboo Peach, and Cucumber Crush. And I'm going to be making a really fun card. Um, the paper you see down there is Whisper White cardstock, and it is cut at three and three quarter by five and a half inches. So I want to show you a trick really quick. This is a great technique. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Fruit Stand stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is a two stamp or two step stamp set. However, I'm not going to be two step stamping today. <laughs> I'm just going to be doing one layer. And I want to just show you the difference. So I'm stamping this in Peekaboo Peach to start out with. And you can see it looks just like a peach and it's really pretty. But I want to show you a trick. When you take that and you stamp it in Peekaboo Peach, and then you take a little sponge dauber that fits on the end of your finger and ink it up in Watermelon Wonder. You can go around the edges just a little bit, right over the top of that peekaboo peach. And then when you stamp your peach, you have this beautiful shading and shadow effect. I absolutely love the way this looks. So I'm going to cover this entire piece of cardstock using this technique. So each time I just stamp right down into the peekaboo peach and then I pick it up and uh, grab my sponge dauber, dip it into the watermelon wonder and um, go around the edges of the stamped image and stamp it again. So I'm going to keep repeating this and doing this all over the place. I do want to say happy 4th of July if you're in America because today is technically the 4th of July, even though I kind of wrote my blog post for 4th of July and did my card Friday. If you want to see that, you can check that out. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you want to buy any of the products that you see me using today, you can purchase them from me in my online store. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So you can purchase them from me in my online store by clicking the link in the description of the video. And that's just below the video here. I'm now going to use my Watermelon Wonder to start stamping my stems and leaves. And this is where you really see this card start to come together and the little images there that kind of look like a baby's butt cheeks start actually looking like a peach. And so um, I just love how these turn out. Now when I was stamping this I quickly realized I needed something to fill in that white space because that was just too much white space in between the peaches. And I didn't want to leave it like that. So what I did, um, first of all, I just saw one area that I could add a little bit of a peach color to here off to the right hand side. So I did that. But then um, there is also these little bitty dot stamps inside the stamp set. And so I took the dot stamp and I went ahead and I added it. And I wanted to show you this little trick I'm showing you right here is I've stamped in triangles. So that's just a little composition trick that I've learned um, from watching different card makers is when you stamp something in odd numbers and kind of try to do it in a triangle, it's more pleasing to the eye. So that's what I did here. So even with my little dots, you can see that I'm stamping three at a time close together. And then I am going off and stamping one here and there. But when it's like in a little cluster, I try to do it three and I try to kind of keep it in a triangle um, format and that really just is pleasing to our eye. I don't know why but it is and so um, I'm going with my watermelon wonder here and just going ahead and covering this white area with some little watermelon wonder polka dots and that really pulls everything kind of together and makes this look like one piece instead of random peaches. I don't know, it just kind of ties it all in and makes it look like one nice background. While I still have my ink out, I'm skipping ahead and stamping this little scalloped oval shape. I cut this little scallop oval out of the layering ovals framelits from Stampin' Up! and I just had done that ahead of time so that I could save some time on the video. I have a strip of Watermelon Wonder here and I'm going to use my snail adhesive to adhere it down to the side of my card. This is just cut at one inch by five and a half so I'm uh, adhering it to my decorative panel and so it'll just have this cute little piece of Watermelon Wonder sticking out of the side and it just gives it a little interest and draws those colors all together 
and gives it gives this card more than one layer and I have just a little bit sticking off there at the end and so I grab my paper snips and I quickly trim those off by the way if you don't have any paper snips in your arsenal these are like the best scissors in the whole world absolutely love these scissors I have like six pairs um, and I even have a pair in my car that I just keep all the time <laughs> so grab those from me if you if you don't have any all right, I have a piece of vellum here and it is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter and I adhered it to the front of the card and it's gonna mute all of those colors. It really dulls them down, but right there around the edge, you see the colors bright and the video doesn't really do it justice, but it's really, really pretty. So I have a card base that's cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches and folded in half to make a A2 size card and it's top folding. And then I'm just going to add dimensionals to the back of this thank you sentiment. And I'm going to pop it up on the front of the vellum. And I'm going to put it right over where I put the adhesive for the vellum. And that is my little trick for hiding the adhesive. I took a class on online card classes called Sheer and Clear. And they had all kinds of really cool ideas for hiding um, adhesive under vellum and stuff like that. So it was a fun class. That's my finished card, and I made another one that's a strawberry card, and I think it's just super cute too, and I added little enamel dots to it, which I thought were really cute. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic summery day. Bye-bye.